you. It's a privilege to be here with old and um, maybe new friends. Uh, yeah, so I'm also in the Department of Integrative Biology and Physiology, and I'm just really fascinated, not only as a neuroscientist in how the brain controls behavior, but um, I've just been really struck about how our behaviors, even our movements, our vocalizations can actually change our brains and change gene expression within uh, the type of cells that I studied, the neurons in the brain. And um, to, to look at this, um, I study, and my team study birds. <laughs> um, and not the scooter bird that you're seeing here, um, but actually um, songbirds. And um, what's been a privilege for me to, to, to discover about them is that when birds wake up and sing in the dawn chorus in the morning, um, they actually regulate the gene transcription in the neurons that are controlling that behavior. Uh, so it, it feeds back, the behavior feeds back and changes those genes and ultimately what proteins um, will be made. Um, and so they're singing in the morning and as they're doing so, they're listening to each other. And the type of neurons that they use to do this we call mirror neurons because these neurons don't just help make their own behavior, but these neurons help them sense that behavior in another bird. So they're really helping the bird to um, communicate um, and, to, and to listen in. Um, and so I find this um, pretty exciting in birds, and now there's even evidence in, in humans, especially um, gifted or professional performers who may perform on con a concert, and then you can take blood samples from them and find that they're changing the levels of these same genes that we find in the bird in their brains. Um, so, so I think that's really fascinating. And another sort of related aspect is that if you look at young children that have different abilities in language, including children that have language delays related to autism, and you look at um, their gene transcription um, in, in a group of um, genes that are, um, you know, working together uh, that are um, seen in the more autistic children, those genes um, have about 75% of our singing regulated genes from the birds in them. So the idea might be, you know, when there's a social problem, when we're not functioning well socially and not able to interact with each other that way, we're not activating these cells and we're not making those genes to, to come back and sort of reward and, 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 and get the brain in sync with others. So, that's really a pleasure to be, yeah, um, to be here tonight.